Did you know that apparently the reason that transgender people are killing themselves at such unprecedented rates is because you won't go along with their delusions? Well, according to the White House and Crane Jean-Pierre, that's the reason. I know that these political attacks can really take toll on, on people's mental health. So I want to say directly to LGBTQI plus kids, you are loved just as you are, just the way you are. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, you call 988, the National Crisis Hotline, and dial the number three to talk to a counselor who has been specifically trained to support LGBTQI plus kids. Now, obviously, that doesn't make any sense. The argument that transgender people are taking their own lives at rates we've never seen anywhere else before, at, with the only exception being the paranoid schizophrenic community, no one else in human history has ever taken their own lives at the rate that the the transgender community does. Not slaves during, you know, chattel slavery in the Deep South, not Jews during the Holocaust. No group of people that we have been able to measure has had a suicide rate up to 40%. Almost half of all people in the transgender community are willing to take their own lives, attempt to take their own lives. Far more than half consider taking their own lives. There's no way that this is because of the societal, the socioeconomic factors that have to do with the United States and the West. And we know this to be true because if you go to Europe, European countries that are far more accepting and progressive and open-minded, and, and they all basically affirm this delusion over in Europe and some of these countries, the suicidality rate stays the same. So you'll never convince me, for one, that transgender people in the United States today have it worse than Jews in the Holocaust or, you know, slaves during antebellum Deep South slavery. But even if, for whatever reason, I was to take your word for it, and assume that transgender youth and transgender people all around are, are killing themselves because people aren't affirming their gender, why does that not show up in the data? When we look at what's happening in Europe, the suicide rates are virtually the same. But on top of that, we have to acknowledge that this is more toxic. What they're doing, the narrative that they're pushing, is more toxic than an ex-girlfriend who says, if you leave me, I'm going to kill myself, so you can't do that. They want you to feel like, oh, I have to be empathetic here. I don't want to be responsible for somebody ending their own life, so I'm just going to use their preferred pronouns. I'll just, it's okay. I'll allow a six foot four, 250 pound grown man with a beard and penis to stand in the women's YMCA locker room and watch my daughter shower or undress or get in the sauna or something like that. I'll just, you know, it's okay. Who needs social norms? Who needs common sense? Who needs basic biology or my, you know, worldview? and Christian moral beliefs or something like that. I'll just throw all of those out in the name of empathy. I just want to be a good person. What they're doing is so disgustingly toxic. The way that they come to these parents, so many cases of this, it's all documented. Some people are suing now, thank God. But they'll come to these parents, these gender clinic doctors, these demons that chop up children, slice and dice, put them on hormones, just completely castrate them. These doctors will tell some parents, imagine you've got a mom and a dad, and they have a son. The son, very confused, thinks that he's a daughter, thinks he's a girl. They bring him to the clinic and they say, hey, doc, what do I do? I mean, I've never been in this situation before. My son says he's a girl. I don't think he's a girl, but what am I supposed to do? And the doctor will look them dead in the eyes and they'll say, mom, dad, would you rather have a dead son or a living daughter? And they'll literally give these parents this false dichotomy and they'll say, if you don't affirm your son's delusion, if you don't go along with this gender insanity, your son is going to kill himself. And they use this as their foot in the door. A Trojan horse, and they say, well, you have to be empathetic, you have to go along, you have to do whatever it is that they say. Otherwise, they're going to kill themselves and they know that you want to be a decent human being. They know that you want to be respectful and nice and empathetic to people who happen to have issues, and so they use that against you. It's, it's time to stop being nice. Conservatives have to stop being nice. We have people who are trying to uproot the very moral fabric of our nation, and we're sitting here on the sidelines going, oh, well, you know, I don't want to be seen as mean. I don't want anyone to think I'm a bad person. And, you know, if I don't use somebody's neo-pronouns or allow my daughter to have a boy go into the, the, the bathroom and sodomize her like what happened in Virginia, well, then I guess... 
I'm a bad person. If I don't go along with this insanity, I suppose that makes me a bad person. Didn't you hear what Crane Jean-Pierre said? She basically told me that if I don't go along with this, I'm the reason that young people are killing themselves. We also see the same narrative whenever it comes to these shooters. You had that crazy trans terrorist go and shoot up and, and murder six innocent Christians, three of them being children. What was the narrative from the White House? Let's start a new a, a new holiday called Trans Day of Visibility. Trust me, y'all are pretty dang visible. It's not that hard to tell when somebody has a giant Adam's apple and a fake wig on, okay? But anyways, this narrative is being pushed against us. They say the reason that the transgender community is shooting innocent children, the reason that they're killing themselves, isn't because they have a mental illness that needs to be addressed. It's because you aren't affirming their mental illness enough. Tell me how that makes sense. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys. Stay safe out there. There was just another trans terrorist that was busted uh, Colorado Springs area. They were going to blow up a school, shoot up a school, something like that. Crazy stuff. Violence is on the rise. Make sure that you're arming your schools, you're arming your churches. No Christians, no conservatives should ever be viewed as a soft target because I wished I was wrong. I predicted that there would be more of this trans violence. There seems to be an epidemic now of trans people becoming increasingly and increasingly violent. This is no accident. This was a carefully cultivated response that was created by the mainstream media for years and years. They've been building up to this. I'm afraid it's only going to continue to get worse. Things are going to escalate. But until next time, keep me in your prayers. Keep your country in your prayers. God bless.